what's up guys this is Sun back with another video now I know some of you guys who have been waiting for me to give you guys quick update on my Ryzen Tosh so here we go you guys wanted me to test AMD Ryzen 5 3600 uh, 6 core 12 thread third generation 7 nanometer CPU with my Ryzen Tosh with my B450 motherboard so I did and the system is running flawlessly I didn't have to do any extra work now if you guys want to do like the same setup like if you guys want to run uh, Ryzen uh, 5 3600 CPU and uh, you don't want to do anything that like you already have a B450 motherboard then you can easily update your motherboard BIOS to the latest version and then you can just throw in uh, your third gen uh, CPU now today real quick I'll share with you guys some of the benchmark I ran uh, I didn't had enough time but I still have some benchmarks so you guys can see how uh, this CPU perform uh, so before we jump into anything else I want to talk about overclocking now I will have an update video with the uh, x570 motherboard at this very moment I don't have a x570 motherboard now I know a lot of you guys are waiting for me to test Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X CPU but as you guys know Ryzen 9 CPU is going for around $500 and at this very moment I'm a little tight with the uh, money so that's why you guys have to wait all right now let's talk about overclocking with b450 motherboard now if you guys are planning on overclocking your ryzen third gen cpu with b450 motherboard i really don't recommend because i tried overclocking my ryzen 5 3600 with my asus rog uh, strict b450-f motherboard i'm running the latest virus i can overclock with this motherboard i tried okay i can overclock using a uh, ryzen master but how can i use ryzen master with my uh hackintosh right because uh, they don't have uh for uh mac so that's the reason uh i don't recommend you guys to uh you know like if you guys are planning on getting a ryzen third gen cpu and you're planning on using your b450 and you want to overclock then I will highly recommend get like the cheapest X570 motherboard. Now, like I said, I will test that X570 with my uh, uh, Ryzen Tosh and see how it performs or if I have to do any type of extra work. Now, at this very moment, I'm running Mac OS Mojave. I'm not running Mac OS Catalina because there is no kernel for uh, AMD uh, Ryzen uh, CPUs or any AMD CPU. So we have to wait for the uh, like the full version of Mac OS Catalina. I'm running Mac OS Mojave just to test. So guys, if you guys ever wanted i7 8700K and maybe you didn't want it to spend uh, three to four hundred dollar, then this CPU should give you almost same performance. If you want to use this for like workstation purpose, like you use Blender, you render your videos, you know, you uh, you want to use for like multitasking, this CPU is a perfect cpu okay for 199 dollar you're getting a six core cpu 12 thread and you're getting almost i7 8700k uh, performance so just keep that in mind now eventually i will test uh ryzen 7 uh 3700x of course i will test ryzen 9 3900x 12 core 24 thread now you guys can test your Ryzen 3rd gen CPU with the B450 motherboard like I said so don't worry it works you can follow the same guide uh, Ryzen Tosh uh, 2.1 I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to try out all right guys uh, let's just jump in and real quick show you guys the performance now before I jump in I want to give you guys a quick spec for this build so at this very moment I'm running a G scale 8 gig RAM I overclocked to 2933 megahertz I only have 8 gig at this very moment so just just deal with it okay and I'm running my RX Vega 56 graphics also the CPU I have obviously Ryzen 5 3600 uh, 7 nanometer CPU uh, third gen CPU is a 6 core 12 thread CPU best bang for your money and the motherboard I'm running Asus ROG Strix B450-F uh, gaming motherboard and the cooler you guys can see like big cooler now big shout out to 
site for sending uh, one of their uh, cooler. Uh, this one is a Ninja 5. I'm still testing. You guys will see like uh, like a review uh, on this like cooler. I'll have a review now. Let's just jump in and show you guys real quick uh, the test. And I also squeezed some gaming benchmark in, so you guys will see some gaming benchmark also because I'm trying to keep like both sides of the world happy, the gamers and Hackintosher. All right, guys, so let's jump in and show you guys. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, Ryzen 5 3600 for $199, this CPU is a beast. Great for Hackintosher, great for gamers, you can't go wrong, you know. This CPU performs better than i7-8700K when, when it does come down to uh, workstation base, like you know, Blender, rendering and stuff, this thing is a beast for $199 you can go wrong that's why I highly recommend this CPU to anyone who's looking to build the gaming PC hack and torch workstation based PC whatever okay you can't go wrong with this CPU now let me know what else you guys want to see also stay tuned for the update video with x570 motherboard and also stay tuned for Ryzen 7 uh, 3700x the 8 core 16 thread uh, update video and also yes Eventually, I will have a video on uh, Ryzen 9 3900X, so stay tuned. I'm saving my money. And that should be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace.